Lee. This bout is a K1 rules kickboxing bout to be competed over three three-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Allow me to introduce your first competitor, find out the MCMA gym. Please show your appreciation for Derby Pinefield. And as opponent will be fighting out the red corner, please raise the roof for Costi! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is a K1 rules kickboxing bout to be competing over three three-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Allow me to introduce your first competitor, standing in the blue corner, representing the MCMA gym. He weighed in at 87.5 kilograms from Harrow, London, United Kingdom. It's Darwin Panfield! And his opponent standing across the ring in the red corner. He represents the Nosey Academy and Fox. Jim, he weighed in at 88 kilograms from uh, London, England uh, via Romania. It's Costi Marcano. Your referee for the action is Stephen Brum. Kickboxing rule set. Costi Makana knows the academy. He also represents the Fox Gym in Romania. David Hanfield, the MCMA Gym from Harrow, London. He literally lives five minutes up the road to this venue. K1 rules, and I'm joined by Alex Foreman. 3 3 is Danny Pro K1. Big guys. Very tall, isn't he, Meccano? Yeah, he's a good six for four. He's a 95 kilo plus. Two big boys here, Dan. Uh, do you know what? These guys weighed in at 80 kilos. Oh, really? 
They look massive. They look huge. Really good round here for Costi. Good knees there. Proper K1 knees as well, releasing the shots go. Yeah. It's that Dutch style of fight. Box, box, yeah, care, box, box, box care. in here as well. Yeah. I, ne I never do Muay Thai shows in Romania. Every time I come and take there, always under the K1 rule set. Yeah. Had the pleasure of fighting out there in 2010. MMA fighter, but now I'm working on his stand-up with the MCMA gym. You can see Costi's changed his style a lot, the, he developed more of a K1 style as opposed to that Muay Thai style lad. I think it suits him a lot that day, he's working really well. Combinations of fluid, Danny. Yeah, he kicks off the lead leg a lot, doesn't he? It's, to, it's almost like a jab, isn't it? It's hard to work through the lead leg kick. He mixes it out, that's exactly what I was just thinking. Oh, he's really a big right hand there. He mixes it up really well, don't go up. Handful looks very powerful. Handful and powerful. He looks like he looks like he can land a big shot at any time. But he needs to make sure his guard's up. Costi's hands are just dropping slightly as he's pulling that jab out. He's wide open for the left hook. His right hand is awfully low. It's the same up with the jab and get that knee in as well. He's hitting those knees, isn't he? So much better on the front foot. He needs to stop going on the back foot. And he pressures. And he pressures the MCMA boy. He really does look fantastic, Costi. Contested round. Even round, I mean, it's a ten point score. Okay, one rules. For me, costing one. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. At the moment, it just seems to be a little bit more accurate. Just the involves in the corner, no strangers to the K1. Seen him fight some of the top boys in Europe in K1, Daniel Shamgok, Sahi, Hedzi Gerdius, just to name a few. Gillian White. Gillian White, three times. Yeah, never avoided anyone, Christian. No, Christian never avoided anyone. Great career, of course. Paul Taylor, rest in peace. Taking him round for a lot of that. Ralph Bill, who was supporting him as well. I still get goosebumps even, even when I hear that man at that man at all track on Christy even come out to. Still gives me goosebumps out. And we were against him before in one of my boys last fight and I, I, I love the music they come out in. Here they go. Costi Akano knows the academy. David Panfield, MCMA. Those knees are good from Costi. So long, so long. Oh, he's getting bullied with the sheer length of the limbs of Costi Makano. He really is trying to listen and implement what his corner have told him here, Costi, because as he's going on the back foot, he's throwing that long knee, it works, it's stalls and it's working. I said at the end of the first round, he needs to put his hip through. He's doing that, isn't he? Yeah, he's driving him in now as opposed to just picking him up. Here comes punch kicks the K1 rule set. There's that knee again. I'll tell you what, it's taking the thought out of him now, isn't it? It's giving him something to think about when Cotter's on the back foot. Because before that, he was just coming in, punching freely. Look at the left leg of Panfield now. What red he is. Tattoo, isn't it? He's wrapped the shin round there a few times. That was a really nice attack. He switched into the hook kick. Knees on the back foot. He's stopping painful, letting his hands go with this. Isn't exactly it? what he's doing because Mavio knows as soon as he lets his hand go, he's going to wear the knee. It does 
Because he's breaking him slowly down. He doesn't look young, Ricardo, does he? He's been around a while. He fought on my show five years ago up in Liverpool. He got a really good five-round fight with him. I think he was 73 and a half back then. And he's now three to the later years. But no, he, he still looks fit and strong. But still still work.
Wow, ladies and gentlemen in the place, give it up for the Warriors in the ring! <laughs> Referee uh, Stephen Brooks stopped this bout, one minute ten, into the third and final round, declaring that your winner by knockout in the blue corner, it's Darwin Penfield! Ladies and gentlemen, this man was in complete control of that fight until that massive punch. Please also give it up for a very, very good opponent in Costi McConnell.